An LBC caller has said she is grieving about Brexit, saying that Brexit represents the single piece of self-sabotage that Britain has ever seen. As a musician, Sally also argued that the amount of red tape imposed on the music industry after Brexit has impacted many creatives. Calling on LBC, Sally from Seven Oaks said, I'm a first-time caller but this is a subject that I feel very passionate about. I don't even know where to start. I feel I'm actually grieving still, struggling to deal with my frustration, my anger, and all that we've lost actually because, to me, Brexit represents the single piece of self-sabotage that this country has ever seen. I've enjoyed a career as a musician traveling around Europe as a pianist and a singer playing in beautiful venues, and getting to know the culture and all these wonderful countries that offer so much for all of us. She continued, and I'm not saying I can't still do that, but there's going to be a lot more red tape, it won't have the same sense of belonging, as I felt very European. All my children are creatives, and I've seen how the creative arts have been impacted quite severely by all the red tape in the bureaucracy. And it's not just the performers, it's the people who provide the lighting, it's the orchestras. So in that aspect, it feels very personal. She went on, but in terms of the overall feeling that Brexit has left me with is one of a sadness because it sends out such a negative message to the rest of the world. And it felt at the time that it was a vote made against immigration. The government's Brexit deal was criticized for failing to negotiate visa-free travel and Europe-wide permits for musicians and crew. The conductor of the London Symphony Orchestra, LSO, Sir Simon Rattle, said musicians just starting out on their careers were having a desperate time. He said, what I worry about is how much music will have been lost, how many brilliant young musicians will not be able to do what they do, how many artistic lives will be ruined. People who are normally hired by organizations abroad are being told, I'm sorry, we just don't have the capacity to bring somebody from the United Kingdom, it is too complicated and too expensive. Number 10 has said, we have spoken to every EU member and 19 have confirmed musicians do not require visas or work permits for short-term tours. A survey from the Musicians' Union and the Incorporated Society of Musicians revealed 42% of musicians are considering moving to Europe in order to continue working, while 21% are considering a change of career due to the extra costs of touring after Brexit.